why Zion Williamson is the most dangerous player in the NBA. Zion Williamson has been a phenom since his junior year in high school. Coaches from high major schools flock to see Zion put on shows with incredible 360 and windmill dunks. Zion grew and grew, and once his body adapted to his growth, there was no way anyone could stop Zion in high school or even college. Zion's growth, vertical, and intelligence has helped him become dangerous. He's not forcing anything in his first stint in the NBA. He's letting the game come to himself. Keep watching to see why Zion Williamson is the most dangerous player in the NBA at just 19 years old. The Growth As Zion went through high school and college, plenty of highlights would surface around social media, with plenty of critics. In the comments section of each highlight, people would say things like, let's see a jump shot, or can he shoot? At the time, Zion was about to be a freshman at Duke. The Duke website had him listed as a 6'7", 285-pound forward. To put that into perspective, 7'3 NBA center Boban Marjanovic is just 5 pounds heavier, and he's the heaviest guy in the NBA. At 250 pounds, 6'8 LeBron James is 35 pounds lighter, and Zion is still 9 pounds lighter than 7'1 Shaquille O'Neal during his LSU days. Those days, if you recall, were when Shaq was outplayed by Duke's Christian Leitner. Even at this weight, Zion can still shoot the ball. The Duke Twitter account shared a video of Zion and his 40-plus inch vertical jump from the free throw line. Zion dunked with such ease that he probably could have jumped from behind the line at 285 pounds. When was the last time we've seen a player who's been able to do this? Maybe the 6'7 Oklahoma City rookie Terrence Ferguson, and he's just 184 pounds. Zion set a new vertical leap record at Duke. There have been some impressive athletes to come out of Duke, but Zion blew all of them away. He can touch the top of the backboard, and that basically puts him in a group with Vince Carter and David Thompson. In the 8th grade, Zion was just 5'9", and like many middle schoolers going into high school, he hit a growth spurt and grew 6 inches. He was now just a 6'3 freshman point guard in high school, who weighed about 175 pounds. In that year, Zion had a wrist injury and was given some interesting news. The slightly bad news was that his wrist was broken. However, the good news was that his growth plate was open, and he would be growing another 5 or so inches. The wrist healed, and in 2015, Carter Wilson of Hoopscene.com wrote this write-up about Zion. Williamson is a lengthy 6'4 lefty wing, who looks a little bit unassuming when he steps onto the floor. But can he ever turn it on when it's game time? A big-time offensive threat, Williamson has a fantastic ability to get to the rim, where he can show off some explosive athleticism and finish well above the iron. He also gave us glimpses of this shooting ability, proving he can shoot it over his own defenses from long range. Overall, Williamson is a flat-out bucket getter. Still a youngster in the class of 2018, Williamson has heard from local school Wofford. However, both high major and mid-major coaches should keep an eye on his development, as his ceiling is higher than most in the class of 2018. Do not be surprised if his name has continued to be repeated among hoop circles. Carter Wilson deserves a raise because he was absolutely right about that ceiling and mentions of his name. Zion grew to 6'6 in the 10th grade, and then was 6'7, 230 pounds as a 16-year-old small forward. He became a viral star quickly after that. He was rapper Drake's favorite player in high school. His final two seasons in high school were incredible. He saw plenty of offers from high major schools, watched YouTube videos reach the millions in views, and became one of the best high school prospects there ever was. Zion ended up choosing Coach K over Coach Roy Williams at North Carolina. Zion's knees will be the only thing that could hurt Zion in his future, especially if he really is this heavy moving forward. Offensive Rebounding When the New Orleans Pelicans won the NBA Draft Lottery, their eyes were set on one player and one player only. The Pelicans drafted Duke stud Zion Williamson with the first pick of the NBA Draft. Zion Williamson was going to replace Anthony Davis. This time, the Pelicans wanted to make sure their guy wasn't going to force leave the town. They wanted to build around a young superstar. Minutes into his NBA Summer League debut, Zion Williamson made his presence felt. The game was on ESPN, so everyone could watch Zion take action. New Orleans Pelicans Summer League guard Trevon Blewett shot a floater that hit off the back of the rim. New York Knicks center Mitchell Robinson was able to tap the missed shot into the air, and it landed in the hands of forward Kevin Knox. As the rest of the players for both teams headed back up the court for the next possession, Zion grabbed the ball right out of Knox's hand. Knox was looking up the court when the 6'6", 285-pound Williamson ripped the ball away. Knox hit the ground as Williamson then dunked a two-handed slam. Man, I thought the earthquake started then, said Pelican center and Zion's teammate Jackson Hayes, referencing the dunk. That just showed me how strong he was, really. That's when the league knew that Zion would be dangerous. Zion, in his first 14 NBA games, ranked 10th in the NBA in offensive rebound percentage among players averaging at least 20 minutes per game. Those guys ahead of him are all legitimate centers. 
Zion would be considered a forward. Williamson has the ability to get his own rebounds on missed shots. He's quick on his feet, can jump real high, and has really quick reflexes. On January 26th against the Boston Celtics, Williamson was 9 for 16 from the field. He pulled down an offensive rebound on six of those seven misses. Players are afraid to box Zion out because he's so heavy and strong that they don't want to get injured or hurt. Many of his missed shots turn into offensive rebounds and putbacks. That's where Zion is extremely hard to guard. I think I'll credit it to my second jump, Williamson said. I'll miss a shot and I'm thinking, I'll try to get this rebound and I'll actually get it, so I'll try to go back up quick. Even when I think I'm going to make the shot, I still kind of get in my second jump. Williamson's a creature. He's something the NBA has never seen before. When he was in high school, he went through a series of tests at P3 Applied Sports Science. And the company's founder, Dr. Marcus Elliott, told ESPN's Baxter Holmes that Williamson had the highest peak force of any athlete we've ever assessed. Now, that athletic ability is showing and producing on the court. Williamson has picked up 22 offensive rebounds just off his own shots since March 1st. That's 24.4% of his misses going back into his hands. In total, 68.4% of Williamson's shots end up either in the basket or back in his hands. Since March 1st, Williamson has attempted 32 second chance shots, and he's shooting 67% on those attempts, according to Second Spectrum data. Williamson would be ahead of players like Giannis Adenakumpo who shoots 63.3%, and LeBron James, who shoots 65.5%. Zion has always been prepared for misses on the offensive glass. New Orleans ranked 11th in the NBA in rebounding before Zion got on the floor. Now, the Pelicans have been the second best rebounding team in the league behind only Adenokounmpo's Bucks since then, moving up to fifth overall for the season. Adenokounmpo even fell victim to Williamson's relentlessness. In just his seventh career game, as Lonzo Ball put up a corner three-point attempt, Zion positioned himself in the middle of the lane. Ball's shot hit off the back of the rim, and Giannis appeared to secure the rebound. But Williamson ripped the ball from his hands and drew a foul. I would say the closest thing to Zion is probably Charles Barkley, Pelicans coach Alvin Gentry said. You might have seen Barkley do it in his day and stuff like that. He's just got such great hands and such strong hands. Most of the time, if he gets his hand on the ball, he's going to end up with it. That's another reason why he's so gifted at offensive rebounding his own shot. Now, opponents must adjust to how they account for him. Zion isn't a volume rebounder, but his rebounds are crucial when he comes down with the ball, especially on offense. Drew Holiday said that it opens up rebounding opportunities for other Pelicans. Honestly, you need more than one guy to box out and go for the ball. Even when you get the ball, you're not even sure you're safe, Holiday said, referencing Williamson's ripping the ball away from Adenokounmpo. The energy and force that he brings is unmatched in that area. You have to have some elite rebounders. When the Pelicans played the Lakers earlier this year, LeBron James was astonished with Williamson's energy. He couldn't believe how quick his second jump was. Super explosive, super intelligent as well on the floor, James said. Everyone kind of recognizes his leaping ability as far as his dunks, but his second jump when he misses a shot, his ability to pass in transition, he has very infectious energy. Lakers big man Anthony Davis was also impressed by Zion. He's got a quick first step, very explosive. Second jump is unbelievable, Anthony Davis said. There were some times when we tried to foul him when he got by us or had an easy layup or dunk and he made free throws. So he's gonna continue to get better and better. Obviously, this is his first year. Williamson is already building a reputation as an elite offensive rebounder, but he hasn't been great on the defensive glass. If you watch tape, Zion doesn't really hustle for rebounds, letting others around him grab rebounds instead. He averages just 3.6 defensive rebounds per game, which would place him outside the top 100 in the NBA. Other players with the same defensive rebounding average include point guards Ricky Rubio and Terry Rozier. All this hype and criticism is pointless. The kid is 19 years old and has the body of a grown man. We say it all the time, Gentry said. I don't think he's even scratched the surface. Explosive. There was so much hype for Zion that people started to hate on Zion just because he was all over ESPN every day. To start the NBA season, Zion Williamson missed 44 games, and he was probably on TV more than most NBA players. Clearly, Zion wasn't in top basketball condition. It was going to take him time to find his way to adjust to the best league in the world. Some had afterthoughts that maybe Zion wouldn't be what everyone expected. Maybe the bar wasn't high enough after all. Williamson, the one-and-done Duke stud, has already shattered expectations in his first stint in the NBA. Coming off knee surgery and scoring at least 20 points in eight of his first 10 games, only Michael Jordan can say the same. The 6'6", 285-pound athletic freak is only getting better. Remember, he's just 19 years old. We've seen Williamson overwhelm Steven Adams in the paint on his way to a career-best 32-point performance earlier this season. Basically, it took 10 games for Zion Williamson to change the NBA. It was after these 10 games that critics of Zion kept their mouths shut. 
I'm impressed with where he is, and I can't wait to see what the next step is, because I know it's going to be nothing but greatness," Turner Sports NBA analyst Brendan Hayward said in a phone interview. When he's at his best, he's somebody who can dominate this league. Through his first 10 games, no player has scored more points in the paint over the past two decades than Williamson. He was actually the third number one overall pick since 1992 after Shaquille O'Neal and Allen Iverson to score 200 points through 10 games. Williamson became the first rookie since 1966 to record 30 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists, while playing fewer than 30 minutes. Also, Zion became the first rookie in 35 years since Jordan to score at least 30 points in back-to-back -back games. I expected to make an impact, but I didn't expect to do nothing like this," Williamson told reporters recently. I was kind of looking to come in and just try to fit in, and just not try to mess up. Zion seemed to play without any pressure on. He just enjoys going out there and performing. Williamson actually has the chance to lead the Pelicans on a playoff push. He isn't trying to prove people wrong by showcasing he can shoot from deep or by dominating inside. He'll post up smaller players and go buy bigger ones. He plays the game smart. He's just trying to fit in and make intelligent plays. A talent like that, he's a great guy on top of it all. The whole world needs to see him," Spurs coach Greg Popovich said. Another night, Carmelo Anthony, one of the best scorers in this generation, had some kind words as well. I don't really think he's comparable to anyone that I have seen," Trailblazers forward Carmelo Anthony said. When the greatest stars and the best coaches had nothing but positive things to say about a rookie who can't even drink alcohol yet, you know you've already made it. But the funny thing is, even though Zion has already made it, he's got plenty of growth and his explosive game will only get better as he learns the game more. His height, matched with his weight, along with his quick and high vertical and intelligence, make him one of the most dangerous players in the NBA.